Well folks, it is day 28. I am just brimming with excitement. And the question we're gonna try to answer today is how to finish a book. But first, First, quick shout out to Anna for getting all of her Locas Latinas to subscribe. Thanks, Anna. And now, folks, the question is this. How do you finish a book? Another 5.7 thousand words are down today, and I am nearing the end. I am two days away from a rough draft. And now the question arises, how to finish it? Look, maybe you're struggling. Maybe you're stuck on a chapter. Maybe you've been working on a book for eight, nine, years, 10, maybe it's been longer. And the answer to the question, how to finish a book, is very, very simple. Just assume you're gonna write another one. That's it, that's what my thesis advisor told me a while ago, and frankly, it was a good piece of advice. Consider the first book I wrote, Milos. It took me eight years. About an artist going through depression, taking his girlfriend down the rabbit hole. Book two, Equality, about a Hispanic and a black student going to an inner city school. Another eight years on that project. Book three, The Father, about a guy who kidnaps his own daughter. It's currently out of publishers. Hey, guys, pick it up. Book four, Mother NSFS, also currently at publishers. Come on, guys, pick it up. About a girl who starts a cult in her high school. Now, book five, A Family, on a boat, stuck, possibly killing each other. The thing is, folks, you gotta assume that another one is gonna come. If you wanna get out of your rut, assume you will write another one and that this one doesn't have to be perfect. Anyway, folks, that's, that's it. If you wanna finish your book and then write another one. Anyway, folks, please like and subscribe we're trying to hit 250 subscribers, so I would really appreciate your help. And soon, in a few days time, the rough draft will be done and I'll be moving on to editing. And after that, I'll have a book to send out. All right, folks, have a good night or day.